Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here, and today we're looking at how Axiom can make quick work of data exfil cases when you have an employee potentially emailing highly sensitive documents or HSDs out of the company network. In this case, we've already acquired two Microsoft Office 365 accounts, which include information such as email, OneDrive content, SharePoint information, and auto logs. Starting out, we received an alert that a file by the name of employee CCSN information.csv is the target of this investigation. So let's jump from our dashboard view over to our file system view. As you can see, we have uh, two zip files, which are our two Office 365 accounts. When Axiom acquires data from cloud accounts, the data is protected in a zip. So to filter on our data, let's just run a quick search for employee and see what we get. As you can see, we have identified a file, our employee CCSN information, and when we select that file, we get a quick preview of the data that is stored inside of that, which I would say is a highly sensitive document. And as we scroll down, we do get some of the text information about that. I'm gonna now expand out the details panel, and we can see a little bit more, and we can see the source of this information is coming to uh, one of the OneDrive accounts uh, for Craig. So from here, I want to actually see this information in artifact view. So I'm just gonna right click on this file and hit view related artifacts. Now that I'm inside of artifact view, we can get a little bit more information uh, about this file. So as we can see, we do have the file information. We've got some information as far uh, as the SHA values. And then once again, we do have the source information. So if we wanted to now jump from artifact view back to file system view, we could do that. But now that we have identified this file, I'm gonna actually right click on it and I'm going to go ahead and add a quick tag for this information. So I can report on that later, but I'm gonna clear this tag out now and I'm actually gonna run the same search, just typing in employee inside of artifact view. Now that you can see, we do have some hits inside of uh, cloud for employee and we've got uh, information such as uh, it looks like emails, audit logs and OneDrive files. But I'm going to go to OneDrive files since that's what the information originally from file system view told us. And sure enough, there is that employee CCSN information. Look a little bit more at this. Now, as you can see to the right, we do have it shown as an attachment. We have the owner uh, information and we have the file name. To the right of the file name though, you will see this little icon with the boxes that are connected. That's actually Axiom's connections view, which will build connections across multiple pieces of evidence that are in your case file. If you don't see this icon inside of your uh, Axiom case, you just need to go up to the menu bar, click on tools, then click on build connections and Axiom will go ahead and build those connections across those different pieces of evidence. Keep in mind if you add additional pieces of evidence after you've run connections, you're going to need to rerun this, which usually takes just a couple minutes. But from here, we have identified our, our file. We've already tagged it for our report, but let's uh, click on the connections view. And now, as you can see, Axiom has created a quick uh, graphical representation of everywhere it's found this file uh, between the two different Office 365 accounts that we've added in here. And as I start moving this around, you can see it was posted uh, to uh, Craig's account. We've got obviously several pieces with the hash values. We can see that is associated with the Microsoft uh, application. And when we start looking at this a little more, we can see transferred by Craig. Craig actually emailed it to me. And then very easily you can see that I then uh, send it on to one of my personal email accounts. Now, this is great for just getting a quick view of where all you might want to look to identify where this file has been. But if we go back from connections view now, and we go right back into artifact view, we can identify and confirm what that connections view was showing us. So right away, we've got the OneDrive file. As we can see, it is absolutely uh, located in his OneDrive account. I'm gonna go ahead and tag that as information as well. Moving on up, we go to audit log information. And as we can see, looking at the action column, it looks like uh, Craig did in fact upload this file to his OneDrive account. And when we select on that information, we can see uh, we have the object ID scrolling through some of the data pieces. We can see here, in fact, here's OneDrive uh, where it was uploaded along with the uh, correct folder information for where he posted that information to piece of data. I'm going to go ahead and select these and actually add this to my report as well for our audit log information. And lastly, I'm going to move up to the emails. 
Now, as we can see here, we have sender information of Craig, sent myself an email, uh, reference vacation, but when we actually get the preview of that, we can get an idea of what the discussion was for this particular uh, email thread. And as we look, we have the attachments uh, piece as well. When we select that, we actually do get the preview of that document. As we scroll down, we get all the body of that uh, document as well for the email, and we can see the IP addresses along with uh, the information as far as when that uh, email was sent. Now, next on the list though, we can see here's where I sent and forwarded that email onto myself with that highly sensitive document. So now we very easily have identified that Craig in fact emailed me that document and then I went ahead and hit the forward button and moved that document outside the confines of my uh, internal company. So I hope this uh, quick overview shows how connections and Axiom can make uh, quick work and help you visualize the data across uh, multiple pieces of evidence. Thanks for watching. See you next time.